It's week two of feeding farmers in the field, and we're at the Almondinger Farm near Ohio City in Van Wert County. Joining me, spokesperson Matt. Is it always the youngest person that gets to do the talking on the farm? This is kind of a rare occasion. So, Remember? not based on what I heard some radio interviews from years ago. Well, times change. <laughs> well, tell us about the farm operation and uh, some of the unique parts about it. First of all, a special project for you is wheat. Yeah, uh, something that I do that's a little bit rare is uh, bale quite a bit of straw. Uh, this past year we baled like 1,600 acres, uh, made a little over 10,000 bales, uh, 10, uh, 3 by 3 by 8. So that kept us pretty busy for about three weeks. Uh, the summer didn't cooperate real good for us to get a lot done. And, uh, with the, with the moisture, it caused us a lot more work, but we made it. We got done, so that's all that matters. Now, as we look around for fall kinds of activities, you've uh, already got uh, some of the beans off, about 20%. How do they look? The beans are surprisingly doing uh, a lot lot better than we thought. Um, you know, for being as wet as we were since day one, I mean, ever since the planters went to the field, we were wet. And uh, all summer long, it continued to rain, which is kind of uh, normally... We want rain in the summer, but this year we really had too much. But the beans are doing a lot better than we thought. Uh, they're above average, and I uh, hope that trend continues on for the rest of the harvest. And no corn done because you raised popcorn, and the company would like to have it dried in the field. Yeah, the, uh, we're contracted with uh, Weaver Popcorn from Van Buren, Indiana, and uh, they don't let us start shelling until uh, the corn reaches 17%. Uh, I did some, took a hand sample about a week ago, and it's 21.8. Uh, that sounds like a big difference, but it'll, it, you know, as long as we get some decent weather, it'll dry to 17% fairly easy. So by the time we get our beans cut, we'll be able to go right into corn and, uh, and go from there. Tell us a little bit about family operation, mom, dad, and grandpa, and grandpa's hammock. <laughs> Grandma and grandpa, uh, you know, they're pretty much the base of the farm. You know, they started it, and uh, I'm not real sure what your grandpa started farming, but, uh, you know, as he's aged, and, uh, you know, dad's kind of taken over, and, um, you know, I'm... I went to college at UNOH and got an associate's degree and now I've returned back and uh, you know it's a it takes all three of us and uh, when, when there's decisions to be made all three of us were involved and uh, you know grandpa's trying to sl uh, slow down a little bit and which is which is good that's what he should be doing at this point in time in his life and yeah between golf and laying in his hammock and uh, when we don't have him busy doing something which isn't very often but uh, you know, that's what he needs to be doing. So, We won't talk about his plan in a hundred and some days to go on a cruise either, but uh, they're looking forward to that as well. We're at the Almondinger Farm, week number two's winner of feeding farmers in the field.